those of you who've been uh, programming with Java for a while have uh, certainly come to deal with uh, graphical interfaces, the so-called GUIs, which let uh, the user interact with the program. They are really important if you want to go further than the simple command line and if you want to use uh, windows in your programs uh, rather than the boring black screen. So in order to input and output through windows and uh, to include graphics in Java we have to use uh, graphics libraries. You've uh, probably been using swing libraries and uh, AWT. These classes uh, offer all the tools we need to to design and implement programs uh, that display windows in uh, in a way we're all familiar with. AWT stands for Abstract Window Toolkit. It defines the original standard set of classes for building GUIs. It enables the programmer to use components like uh, windows, frames, toolbars, uh, buttons and so on but it also provides uh, event handling mechanisms to respond to mouse clicks, uh, button presses or keystrokes. As I said, it was uh, the original toolkit and uh, Swing, which is more recent, is uh, built on top of AWT classes and through inheritance uh, uses its basic components. So at the top of the hierarchy we've got a class called component that contains the methods Swing uses in its subclasses to implement buttons or checkboxes. And despite being superseded by Swing, it is uh, at the same time largely used by it. Here we've got a simple program that uh, only displays the basic components of uh, AWT's libraries. Obviously it doesn't have the modern look of Swing components, but it uh, it works as a basis uh, for it, as uh, the top level classes of Swing are just from uh, AWT. When it was created, AWT first uh, implemented the event-driven model that would make the difference from uh, procedural programs. For example, when the user clicks the mouse uh, or presses a button, the program receives the, the click as an event and uh, must respond uh, in some form to it. So when an event is generated, uh, one or more listeners are waiting for it and uh, these same listeners then uh, will process the event. After some improvements, uh, the model has come to what it is now with Swing. Uh, quickly said, uh, only the components that are registered uh, with the listeners receive the event instead of uh, the event being propagated uh, up the hierarchy. This makes the model more efficient and uh, of course only happens backstage. Uh, the program only has to implement uh, the interfaces uh, that deal with events uh, such as action listener, mouse listener and also a set of methods called uh, action performed or mouse clicked. Okay, so Swing came as a replacement and uh, an improvement of AWT in terms of uh, design and look because the original set of widgets uh, was limited to a few but also because of AWT's problems it was unreliable, basic and uh, platform specific which went uh, against Java's ideas of uh, portability and uh, functionality. Now in its last versions uh, the code is entirely written in Java and uh, controlled by Java's runtime uh, instead of uh, depending on the operating system. And to end up, a few things have to be said. AWT and Swing have to be seen as uh, only one big set of components. And also bear in mind that uh, a good understanding of AWT's world leads to a successful use of Swing and uh, graphical interfaces.